Hello everyone! In today's video, you'll discover how to create interactive animations in After Effects using powerful expressions. I'll guide you through a range of techniques, all crafted to help you take your motion graphics to the next level. We'll also explore how to build a dynamic motion graphics scene, and most exciting of all, I'll introduce my brand new After Effects script called Interact. With Interact, you can make interactive animations in just a few clicks and it's saving you tons of time. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, let's create a new composition, give it a name, and click OK. Then I select the Ellipse tool to create a small circle within this composition and rename this layer as Circle. Next, I select the Polystar tool, hold Shift, and drag to create a perfect star. Then I go to the Polystar drop down menu under Polystar Path. You will find points. Simply change this to three to create a triangle and rename this layer as Triangle. After that, I change its color to white and place it at the center. Right now, you can see the anchor point is misplaced, so I move it to the center of the triangle. If I rotate the triangle, You'll notice it rotates like this, but if I adjust its anchor point and then rotate it, it rotates differently. So the anchor point is a crucial part when you're using expressions. Make sure you set it at the right place. After that, open the rotation properties of the triangle, hold Alt on the keyboard, and click on the rotation properties to activate the expression editor. Now it's time to write an expression. I type var which is short for variable, then target equals. Then I select the pick whip tool and drag it to the circle layer so it automatically appears in the expression editor. Our first target is this circle layer. Then I type When I click anywhere to confirm this expression, if I select the circle and move it around, the triangle follows and keeps pointing to the circle no matter where I move it. The triangle keeps tracking the circle precisely. Even if I move away from the triangle, it keeps following the circle. We can also duplicate the triangle layer and create multiple layers, all of which interact with the circle. But what if we want the triangle to return to its original position if the circle moves too far away? We can do that too with more complex expressions. Before that, we need to set up a few things. First, add a new null object into the timeline and rename it Controller. Then go to the Effects and Presets panel, search Slider Control, and add it to this layer. Rename this Slider Control as Range. After that, copy the complex expression. You'll find it linked in the description below. I've also posted it on my blog. So, I copy this expression, delete any extra triangle layers, open the Triangle Rotation property, open the Script Editor, delete the current expression, and paste our new complex expression. When I click anywhere to confirm, you may see some errors. Let's fix these quickly. On the first line of the code, you'll see it says there's a missing layer. Our main object is circle. So its layer name should be circle. Rename shape layer one to circle. The next thing to change is the null object layer name. Right now it's set as null7, so just rename this to controller, since the null object is named controller. Now if I click anywhere to confirm, you'll see the error is fixed. If I move the circle, nothing happens because in the range, slider control, the value is set to zero. If I increase the slider value, you'll see the triangle starts interacting with the circle. Now, if I move the circle closer to the triangle, it reacts more. If I move it away, the triangle goes back to its original rotation. And that's the magic of this complex animation. Now, we can duplicate the triangle as many times as we want, and all those layers will interact with the circle in the same way. Next, let me show you how to visualize the range and how it affects the triangle. Select the Ellipse tool and create a circle with no fill, only stroke. Place it on the circle, rename this as ring, and parent this layer to the circle. 
Now we can move them together. Then I select the controller layer and lock the effect controls panel. Select the ring layer, open its scale property, hold alt and click the stopwatch. Next, select the pick whip tool and parent it to the slider. Now the ring scale is connected to our range slider, making it look large. Let's fix that. Double click the ring, select one corner, hold shift and scale it down to better match the range area. Now if I change the range value, we can see it visually in our composition. As you can see, when I move the circle, the ring shows the range area that interacts with the triangle. This ring is just to show you the affected area. This step isn't necessary for your own project, I'm just showing an option. To make this process easier, I created a custom script to help us create interactive animation within seconds and a few clicks. Let's see how it works. I've already installed this script, so let's launch it. To start, go to Window and look for interact.jsx. Click on it and it will launch in After Effects. So you can dock this script anywhere in After Effects. Now you'll see four different buttons in the Interact UI panel. First, select the green circle, our main object, and click the Select Main Object button. This sets it as our main object. Next, select all the triangle layers. These are the follower layers. Then click the Followers button to set these as followers. Lastly, select the Null layer and click the Controller button to set it as the controller. When you click the controller button, a slider is automatically added to the null layer called range. But right now, if I move the circle, nothing happens. Because the slider value is zero. If I increase the slider, you'll see the triangle starts interacting with the circle. With just a few clicks in a few seconds, we're ready to animate the scene. That's the benefit of this script. You can download it using the link in the description below. Lastly, if you want to reset everything, just click this button to reset everything. Let's move on and see how to create this animation. Create a new solid layer and name it Color and set a green color for it. Select the Ellipse tool and create a circular mask for this layer. Align it to the center of your comp and press M twice on the keyboard to see the mask properties for this layer. Increase the mask feather then select the layer, move it onto the circle, and parent the color layer to the circle layer. After this, I'm going to add a glow effect to this circle layer. Let me hide the color layer for now, then duplicate the glow effect and increase the glow radius. Then I turn the color layer back on, Next, I add another new solid layer. This will be our background layer. Set a dark green color for this one and place it below all the other layers. After that, I select all the triangle layers and click Toggle Switches to view the Track Matte options. Then, set the color layer as an alpha matte for all the triangles. Now, the triangles react with the fake light of the circle. To make it even better, Select all the triangle layers and change their color to green. All right, the next thing you need to do is select the color layer, duplicate it, and turn on its visibility. Then it will look more dynamic. Next, I will add another solid layer and name it Grid. Then I apply the grid effect to this layer and change some of the grid settings. First, I change the color of this grid like this. Then I change its track matte to color. You can also adjust the grid spacing. After that, I am adding an adjustment layer to this timeline. Then search for the noise effect and apply it to this adjustment layer. If I increase the noise, you can see we get a beautiful texture in our scene. Then I'm going to animate the circle using the position properties of this layer. Simply add a keyframe to the position and change the circle's positions like this. Then select all keyframes, press G to select the pen tool and hold Alt while clicking one of the vertex points to smooth out the path of the circle. Then right click one of the keyframes and select Rove across time. This will make the motion smooth and linear.
After that, select the grid layer and place it below the color layer. Let's see the preview. That's how you can create an interactive animation in After Effects. Practice on your own and polish your motion graphics skills. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.